what have you personally found to be the biggest health challenge um, while in space so far? For the month and a half that I've been up here is just a general stuffiness that comes from the uh, increased blood volume to the heads. You, you just kind of feel a little bit congested uh, constantly. I've been pretty lucky. I thankfully haven't experienced the, the stuffiness that uh, Andy and several others uh, experience up here. Uh, one thing I will say is I definitely feel the need, you know, we're scheduled uh, to work out two and a half hours a day. And I, I do feel the, the need and the want to do that because we're not uh, using our muscles regularly as we would back on earth. And how uh, do you all keep physically uh, fit in space? Uh, we have a stationary bicycle, we have a treadmill, and then we have a, a strength conditioning device. And so we do a, a mix between cardio and uh, muscle strength building exercises in order to maintain our muscle mass and our bone density. Being on the International Space Station, it's such a confined, isolated space. Um, and to be there for months at a time seems like it would present a lot of mental health challenges as well. So what do you both do up there to keep mentally and emotionally fit while in space? Maybe it's the professionalism, the the selection of astronauts. Maybe it's the, the fact that being up here really is an incredible experience. I mean, I think we all feel incredibly fortunate to be up here. Uh, we enjoy each other's company. Uh, the work that we do is interesting. Uh, we have an opportunity to, to look down at our beautiful planet uh, in the evenings and in our free time. And so all in all, it's just a, an incredible uh, experience. So it's, it's not as challenging as a lot of people believe it to be. And as Andy mentioned, this is uh, an absolute once in a lifetime experience. And uh, for me personally, one of the most challenging uh, things has been um, the thought of leaving this experience, not knowing if I'll ever uh, get to come back. And it feels like time is just kind of flying by. Um, and while I do certainly miss uh, my husband and my daughters back home and all my friends and family, um, overall, it's just uh, such a unique opportunity that uh, I'm just trying to soak it all in. What's the biggest lesson that researchers are hoping to learn from you and your mission in space um, that can eventually be applied to keeping astronauts safe and healthy on even longer missions, like eventually, hopefully, a three-year mission to Mars. We're constantly learning more and more about the uh, impacts on spa of spaceflight on the human body. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you have such a small number in the grand scheme of things of people that have uh, flown in space that it's, it's often hard to to, to pinpoint something as, is this a causal factor or not? But one thing a lot of kids ask me is, oh, are you going to be younger than all of us when you come back flying in space? But I think actually we find uh, it might actually age us a bit, a bit more up here. So I think we're really still gaining an understanding of all those things.